32 Thoughts presented by GMC and the new Sierra AT4X. Jeff Merrick, Elliot Friedman, and Jeff, this is like your radio show this week when you oh, explained yeah? that Terry Harper was the man responsible for no longer everybody in the penalty box together, right? And Bob Pulford, yeah. 1963, yeah. fight at Maple Leaf Gardens. A week keep... later, Maple Leaf Gardens separated and the forum was second. So, Elliot, you're you're at the far end now to keep you from uh, scrapping <laughs> here with your partner. Uh, nice to see you. You're uh, splendidly dressed for a home report. Normally, and Tim and friends are like in the witness protection program, but uh, <laughs> you first on the NHLPA. Well, first of all, now I'm worried, Ron, that everyone's going to say, we see you did it this time. Now you got to do it every time. Right. I hope this, the skit isn't over. Uh, okay, the NHLPA. Next week during All-Star Weekend, there will be an executive board meeting. That's the 32-player reps. And for those who aren't in attendance, they'll be joining remotely. Now, information is very tight, but the word is the Players Association is very close to naming a new leader atop as its executive director. Now, it might not be next week, but like I said, the word is that we're getting close, that we're down to the final two or three candidates, and that there will be some discussion, if not a recommendation or a vote, about which direction to proceed. Now, I do believe one of the names there is former Vancouver Canucks general manager Mike Gillis, who was also a pretty high-powered player agent before he joined the NHL team, but I don't think he's the only one. Whatever the case is, we are getting closer, just not sure if it happens next week. Would be interesting if it happened at sunrise. Uh, as yeah. mentioned, we're trying to get Gary Benton. We haven't confirmed Gary yet, but we'd love to have a chat with the commissioner and maybe the new executive director. So how about All-Star? What else is happening? Okay, so a couple of things. So the NHL this week uh, officially named uh, the women that will be involved, and they are Sarah Nurse, Emily Clark, Rebecca Johnson, uh, Hillary Knight, and Alex Carpenter. Uh, nothing is official yet as to what they're doing, but it sounds very much like they'll be part of what's called the Tendi Tandem event, which is a combination of attempted goalie goals and then breakaways, either one on O, two on O, or in certain cases, three on O. So expect the women to be involved in that one. Uh, as we know as well, Connor McDavid will not participate in the fastest skater. I know that's a drag, but what can you do? Uh, he asked out last season. He'll compete in the accuracy shooting. And I think the NHL kind of hoped that before Connor called it a day for fastest skater, he would have, you know, uh, set a new record, won the event, and retired as a champion, maybe come back WrestleMania style to challenge a contender here and there. But alas he goes to the accuracy shooting and the accuracy shooting is going to be a little bit different for the opening round it'll be the traditional one net one shooter uh, and the targets but then for the semi-final and the final there'll be two nets that are brought out two shooters going head to head so we could have a combination of McDavid facing off against Leon Dreisaitl I believe he's going to be there Sidney Crosby uh, against Connor McDavid, that could happen. I also believe that maybe our Timmy Panarin, Johnny Gaudreau, and Alexander Barkov could also participate in this one. Well, you know, it's funny. Now that he's a leading goal getter in the NHL, shooting <laughs> yeah. should be Connor Singh. And uh, I will say it's his sixth All Star, one more than Sidney Crosby. You yep. know, injury, circumstance, sure. it's crazy how it goes. So he's paid his dues for sure. Uh, Never complained, by the way, no. about anything. He's always done everything they've wanted. That's it. Uh, speaking of the Oilers, Elliot, back to you. Well, just some things to keep an eye on as we get to within six weeks of the trade deadline, Ryan. I believe Edmonton is one of the teams, and I think there's more than one, that has interest in Arizona center Nick Bjugstad. It's an easy contract for a lot of teams to handle, 900 k He's got 11 goals this year, 10 or even strength, one is shorthanded. And what somebody else pointed out to me is the NHL lead this year in shootout goals is four. He's got three, and those are points you need to get into the playoffs I think the Oilers are one of the teams interested in Bukestad. And you know, Elliot, a couple of other names to keep your eye on uh, before the NHL trade deadline of March the 3rd. We go to Seattle and we have a look at Carson Soucy, bottom pairing defenseman, left hand shot, a very reasonable cap of $2.7 million. His contract expires at the end of the season. He's a pending unrestricted free agent. So far, there's been no discussion between Jerry Johansson, his agent, or Ron Francis, general manager of the Seattle Kraken. And that's the decision. Do they let him potentially walk for nothing, or do they keep him for an extended playoff run? We'll see what happens there. And Anton Hudobin, teams that are looking for some uh, some goaltending depth for the playoffs. Some teams are interested. He's playing. We can all remember him taking yes. Dallas to the final in the bubble, of course. And uh, some teams have called. He's playing AH. Texas right now the farm team for the Dallas Stars had a really good season he's healthy we're wondering maybe he could be on the move as well 3.75 million is the contract that might be a sticking point here Ron but all things can get massaged with the home team we're not 
going home. And That's right. Kudobin. Jeff Merrick, Elliot Friedman, 32 Thoughts. The last time we were in Sunrise, site of next week's All-Star festivities, Wayne Gretzky went down at the intermission and said, you are a hockey player. It was Danny Heatley. Before his 50-goal seasons in Ottawa, the Atlanta Thrasher, representing at the All-Star in Sunrise 2003, four goals and the shootout winner. Amazing. Hockey Night returns.